Hey, what's going on guys, it's Flaws. In this video, we're gonna be talking about movement and angles. Uh, basically, movement's something that's overlooked by a lot of players, and it's just something that people don't seem to be working on for themselves because they think, oh, that's not how you get kills, or there's nothing that is really gonna show up on the score sheet for that. But movement's something that's gonna keep you alive in a lot of situations and could get you guys some wins. The most common movement mistake I'll actually see in Valorant is a lot of the times when people are clearing angles or pushing up to an angle, they'll hold their W key, far too much so right here obviously if you're holding your w key and you turn this corner it's a lot easier for this person on the top of middle right here just to hold down this angle and not move their crosser at all um, basically in this case they just have to just shoot and it's a lot easier because they'll get the first shot off because you're still holding your w key as you turn this corner so your shots aren't accurate while you're walking obviously um, so what you should be doing instead in this case is actually just holding your d key like this and that way you're actually swinging the corner a lot faster. This person holding top middle, I'm gonna show you from their point of view. If you're like this, you have to move your crosshair with them and that's just gonna basically make it a lot more difficult for this person holding the top middle. So you guys should be using your A and D keys to swing corners instead of just your W key. So keep that in mind. Counter strafing is something you guys might have heard of. Basically what counter strafing is, is if you guys are holding your A key and you're turning a corner like this, um, you have to hit your D key to be ordered to shoot right away. It's the same thing with holding your D key, you just have to tap your A key. So if you're clearing a corner like this, hold your A key, tap your D key right away, and that way you're ready to shoot. Um, because you do have momentum in this game, so when you turn the corner and let go of your A key, there still is that split second of inaccuracy. The way tagging works in Valorant right now is if you guys actually get shot while you're moving from side to side, as you can see right there, it slows you down. A pretty drastic amount but if you guys are trying to cross a corner like this and you can see that maybe there's someone holding it on the other side you can jump and you won't get slowed until you actually hit the ground so I'm gonna show that right now as you can see right there I wasn't slowed till my feet actually hit the ground and that way you can just get around corners safely so the way Sage works right now is actually um, you can hear people running through the ice but walking through it won't be heard as you can see right here and also, if you guys jump right before you get to the actual ice piece itself, as you can see like this, you can make it pretty far with the jump, but after that you're slowed and there's no way you can bunny hop through it anymore. Something to note is if you guys like to play jet, on bind what you can actually do is jump from this heaven point right here, and while you're gliding just hold your crouch key and aim for the corner of this box. This way you can actually get to basically anywhere on the site. You can get to that box or on top of default without having to use abilities at the start of the round and you can save them for later in the game. The way bunny hopping works is if you hold your W key and you jump, obviously you're going to go in a straight line. Uh, with bunny hopping, it just keeps your momentum going. So to bunny hop, what I do actually is I have my control set to mouse wheel down for my secondary jump and I'm just scrolling down on my mouse to jump. So what you do in bunny hopping is you gain speed by going left to right and as you're moving your mouse left to right you're just scrolling back in your scroll wheel and if you're moving your mouse to your left you're holding your A key if you're moving your mouse to your right you're holding your D key so basically this just builds up speed and this way you can actually get around corners pretty easily um, if someone's holding this you can jump around it you don't have to worry about it but the big thing with bunny hopping is if you have your knife out to start it and you hold your W key Right when you jump, you let go of your W key, just use your strafes, and you can swap to your gun while still hitting bunny hops to continue that speed. So that's really important for you guys to know this, and it could get you guys a lot of kills in your games. Movement does not have to be just about basically the fancy stuff like bunny hopping or self-boosting yourself in a cool spot. Um, movement can actually just get you kills in different ways. For example, if you're playing on the back of ASA like this, you get a kill towards long. He's going to call your spot out, obviously, right away. What you can do in this case is move up closer, maybe get aggressive towards short. This person in short that's holding like this might just think, oh, he's still back sight. Don't have to worry about him too much pushing close. And that way you can just peek into this angle right away, get another kill. He calls out you're closer. This person goes to swing out to see where you are. Um, you can actually just back up to sight. This person doesn't think you're on the site. They're swinging out trying to find out your position. It's another free kill. But basically movement can be about just changing your positions and putting yourself in better situations than you would rather be in. Obviously movement can be very fancy. If you're playing on raise, what you can actually do is you get the site, you come to this corner, throw your satchel charge like that. And this way you just have a lot better position than if you were just basically stuck on the site. But it doesn't have to be like fancy or anything. It's just movement's about 
getting your opponents off guard and getting you basically a free kill without having to take an aim duel. So just keep that in mind if you guys are trying to clutch a situation or you just want to hold this A and get more frags. Just keep this in mind, guys, and it does not have to be fancy. You guys may have heard the term jiggle peeking. Um, what jiggle peeking is basically taking advantage of is if you have understanding of the angles in this game is if I'm right here, this person definitely can see me long right now. I'm 100% sure. I can't see them obviously because I'm so close to this wall. Um, what this is good for is you can actually understand that if someone's peeking very far back, you can clear angles like this very quickly. Obviously, it's a lot wider space to clear. Um, you're not just going to clear the whole entire back of C site right here by turning this corner. Uh, what this is doing is if you guys just want to go like this, you don't see them, but they will see your elbow and basically your leg. So we go like this. Maybe they shoot a sniper shot off thinking that you're actually going to full peek it. Then what you can do is know for a couple seconds, you can actually walk up towards the site. Um, jiggle peeking is really important. C long is probably the best example because they can't kill you if they spam the wall. A lot of the walls in Valorant are spammable. As you can see right here, it's a, it's a black dot in the middle of the decal like that. It is spammable. Right here, there's not a decal uh, that's black in the middle. That means it's not spammable. So just keep this in mind, guys. Um, if you're going to jiggle peek, just make sure they can't spam you down right after. Like the wood right here, if you're jiggle peeking this, obviously they can just shoot the wood and probably get a free kill on you. So keep that in mind while jiggle peeking, guys but it is really good to know. So the way angles work in a lot of FPSs in Valorant is no different. Is actually, the closer you are to the wall you're peeking, the more of a disadvantage you usually are. Um, in this case, obviously, like I just said, if you're very close to the wall right here, I can't see anything long, but I guarantee you that they can see a little bit of a part of me. And that's just basically not good for the person peeking because I'm at a huge disadvantage if I actually swing out because they can already see me like a couple frames before I can see them. Um, rather, if I was to peek in the very back, like of this wall right here, I have a lot more space to peek, and I'm a lot quicker to peek this angle, and I can isolate different angles while I'm peeking. Um, I don't have to just swing like this and basically have the whole entire site be able to see me. Um, do this while you guys are peeking angles. Also, your gun is on the right side of your character, so if you can, try to peek with the wall on the left side of your character as you peek, like this. That way you can just basically shoot a couple shots off, fall back to your wall. Otherwise, if you peek like this, you're exposed just slightly before your gun actually is able to shoot around these corners. So just keep that in mind, guys, and that's gonna get you a lot of kills and probably will save your life a lot more times as well. Also, something that comes with a lot of experience of maps and just playing basically a lot of games is you'll actually be able to clear corners before you even peek into them. So obviously middle right here, I know if I aim just about here and I turn the corner, my crosshair is already going to be ready to go if someone's sniping down here. Um, I am using that D key again, like I said in the video. So you can peek a lot faster. It's just muscle memory at this point. Um, if you guys want to clear this angle, I know window's right about here. Yeah, as you can see, peek into it. I'm holding basically around the window. What this is doing is you don't have to move your crosshair nearly as much as if you were to like wrap around it like this. Because if you wrap around like this, you can actually mess up a lot and you have to make a, like a major crosshair adjustment to the person. Rather, if you were just to clear it like this, um, you have to maybe flick a little bit, which is not bad at all. This is going to give you like a huge advantage. People will like not understand why they're getting killed so quickly in lower level games. Basically, just do this over and over, play more maps, clear more angles, and just like get the muscle memory down of clearing different angles and having your crosshair on the same point. Um, that's it for today, guys. This is just a movement video just to help you guys out playing the game. Uh, if you guys like this video, please leave a thumbs up down below. If you guys want to see more content like this, just subscribe to my channel. Also, comment down below if you guys want to see a different tip or maybe you guys want to see something that you guys are lacking in. Uh, otherwise, flaws out. Cause I got it like that Flow so smooth like I got it on tap Yeah, and I'ma say it be a good night While I'm on my yingling While I'm drinking Bud Light Uh, can you get it when you miss me? Like I'm with whiskey, drinking Jim Beam Yeah, baby, do you do it, do it that way? Do you do that? Do you take a break?